Now it's time to meet more of the team members on the library renovation project. And guess what? They're environmental scientists. They're working on improving the quality of a stream down near the library. Hi, I'm Michael Gloden. And I'm Corey Gray. And we're environmental scientists. An environmental scientist uh, is someone who works to identify natural resources like streams, wetlands, forests, um, and then finds ways to improve their quality for the benefit of clean water and uh, wildlife habitat. I think the best part of my job is being able to work in the, in the outdoors and be able to, to do a lot of different types of things and, and never having the, the same thing come in front of me each and every day. Stream restoration describes a variety of different techniques that you can do to improve the quality and health of a stream. It could be something like we're going to do here at Dead Run where we help reduce erosion. We're standing on the bank of Dead Run here and this is an area that's targeted to be restored as part of the stream restoration project. And as you can see, this bank is pretty much straight up and down. There's no vegetation, grass, or anything there to hold all this material together. And all this dirt is just falling down and, and moving down into the water, right into the stream, and it's causing a big mess. We don't want anything like that to happen. This all needs to be stabilized with vegetation. We're going to cut back the banks a little bit so they're not so steep and help reduce all this erosion coming down into the stream. And see what happens is when you get all this sediment into the stream, it can, it can settle out and it ends up smothering the habitat for a lot of these critters. A lot of the bugs, all the sand and silt just sits down on it and, and basically destroys its habitat. And it's also not good for the fish as well, you know, it can get in their gills, it can uh, cloud the water, reduce the light that gets into the water. So. This stream uh, especially because of the surroundings with all the houses and the roads. Um, there's a lot of input from fertilizer and stuff coming off the roads and all that eventually makes it downstream into larger waters, specifically the Chesapeake Bay. So no matter the size of the stream, even small ones like this, it's important that we treat it just as if it were a larger one or, or even something that we might um, use as drinking water. And we're going to take a look at the soil here. Well, when you're looking at wetlands, you, you look at the soil to determine whether or not it's a wetland type of soil. And when you do that, you use a soil probe so you can dig down there and get a, a sample of their soil. So in order to get the, get the sample, you take a, a probe and basically just turn it down until you've dug up enough soil. You pull it out. And what you have here is a nice little core of soil. And you examine the soil for, for texture. You, you feel it, you see if it's, if it's like a clay or if it's a sand. And then you also look at the color of the soil. And then to do that, you use what's called a Munselled soil chart. And in looking at the soil, you actually stick it behind this chart and you hold it up to these little collar chips to see what color it matches and certain color soils will to tell you whether or not it's a wetland soil. Sustainability uh, with respect to natural resources means using them in a responsible and respectful way that allows replenishment and the continued use of those natural resources uh, for generations to follow. And another part of this uh, stream restoration project is getting rid of all of the invasive plant species that are growing around Dead Run. And as you can see behind me, we have quite a bit of invasive species that you may be familiar with. They may be growing in your backyard. We have uh, this English ivy, which you see going up the trees there. It ends up smothering trees and preventing other plants from growing. We've got um, these bushes back here. It's called multiflora rose. It's a, a rose bush. It has prickers on it. And um, we've got uh, honeysuckle right here, which I'm sure you're all familiar with. You probably see it come out in the spring. And, and, and all of these species, they end up out-competing our native plant species. And we, uh, part of the project is to restore part of the natural ecosystem. So we're trying to get rid of it. If you're interested in being an environmental scientist, it's uh, definitely important that you like to be outside. Um, I would encourage you to spend time outside looking at uh, trees and, and 
picking up rocks and thinking about the relationship that, that things outside have with one another. T typically you need a four-year, at least a four-year college degree, uh, training in, in the sciences, particularly biology and, and some of the other uh, hard sciences like geology. Uh, it's also very good to have good writing and communication skills. I would recommend my job to others. Besides being able to work outside, which for me is great, it's also really rewarding. Um, there's a feeling of satisfaction that uh, I'm helping uh, preserve and, and promote natural resources for other people and ensuring that they're protected and, and maintained for, for future generations.